Hey, everybody, welcome back to Ask an Action Coach. Jackie, last week we were talking about short-term, medium-term, and long-term strategies for lead generation. And I was hoping you could explain just one of those in a little more detail. So let's start. What is a short-term lead generation strategy? Right. A short-term lead generation strategy is something that can get you uh, leads in right now. Okay. Right. So it's it's sometimes it's a, a Facebook post of a, a sale or a new product, right? That might be something that'll get somebody in right now or get people to call right now or in the short term, okay. right? A medium term strategy may takes a little while to develop and a long term strategy takes even longer to develop because you're developing relationships as you go, okay. right? So that's the, a short term strategy is a quick hit to get leads in the door right now, ultimately. So I know, you know, the question was, what's a short term strategy, but I think what a really an interesting thing to talk about would be you're in business development. And, and so all of those of you owners out there who have either have business development people or are, if you are a business development person, listen up. So the question of the day, we're going to use you and your expertise today. So what is one short-term strategy that you use in your business development role? Uh, well, I meeting people on LinkedIn and inviting them into our sales process by essentially um, inviting them to connect and have a conversation where I can learn more about their business. Excellent. So that's a great, that's an easy, that's a great one. And it's, and it's pretty easy to execute on, especially in the days now when we can't get together as often as we want to, right? So how do you go about, I mean, LinkedIn is like, Facebook is like the world, right? So there's a lot of people on LinkedIn. So how do you go about narrowing your focus? I'm generally looking for an industry specific type of business owner. Um, and if it's not industry specific, like say cheese makers or beer brewers, it might be location specific, like um, you know, your, your town or your county or your region, I might be looking for people and that's the reason I reach out to them in the first place. And I let them know I'm, I'm trying to meet people in Green Bay who are in tourism. So that. Right. So that's a great in. Right. And, and part, so part of that is you go in to LinkedIn, understanding what we call a vertical, right? So if you're industry specific, and it can be any industry, it can be tourism, it can be manufacturing, it can be retail, it could be sports business service, it can be any industry you want. But the point here is that you got very, very specific about who you're going after mm -hmm. and where they are located. So those are the two ways you do that. And then you go on LinkedIn and, and search for people like that. So when you, one of the things that we talk about all the time is that could be very, very willy nilly. And it can be a lot of things if you don't go in there with a goal. Oh, yeah. So, right. So what would, you, what's your goal with regard to doing the activities that you're doing? Well, to learn about their business and expose them to what coaching is like. And ultimately my goal is to invite them to have a business strategy session or a complimentary business diagnostic with a coach to see if coaching would be a logical step for them in their business. That's okay. So that's the goal. And, and do you have a goal as to how many? I like to book five of those complimentary strategy sessions a week. Okay. So five a week. So you have, so really what you have is your goal is five business strategy sessions every week. Yep. And how do you know, how do you keep track of all of that? Oh, I have, I, I keep track of it on multiple spreadsheets. Um, one of them is my own personal five ways where um, it goes from the conversations to a one-on-one -on -one interview, to an opportunity to speak with a coach, to a business diagnostic or business strategy session. Right, so the important point here is that you track those, you track every step of your sales process. Yes and marketing process. You track every single step and the conversion rate from step to step. Right. And so you go in with a goal and then you track it on each step because why is that important for you to do that? Well, 
it, it can tell me that if I only talk to seven people and I only get two of those business strategy sessions booked in a week, then I need to really talk to probably more like 16 or 17 people in order to get to the five business strategy sessions a week. That's awesome, right? So you basically, you use the five ways for your marketing. We talked about five, the five ways. So if you don't know what the five ways are, we talked about it in episode 36. Mm -hmm. So please refer back to that episode. Um, but once you have, once you know your numbers, then you know how many activities you need to do, right? Mm -hmm. In order to hit, go from this step to this step, to this step, to this step, right? And then the better you can get at those, so the fewer of them you need in order to hit your goal. Mm -hmm. So the point here is, is not only going in um, no matter what strategy, today we're talking short-term, going in with a goal, right? So that you have a goal for the conversation and you know what your outcome is going to be. And then going in and testing and measuring it each step of the way. And I would say use the five ways as a great place to start. And you can add your own steps above the lead, getting them to a lead, right? Yep. So part of this is, is really doing those three things, really being very specific about your, who you're going after, having a goal in mind, and testing and measuring it. This is awesome as always, Coach Jackie. Thank you so much for your knowledge about tracking and thinking about short-term strategies. And if you're out there wondering about your short-term strategies, feel free to let us know that you would like a complimentary business strategy session with Coach Jackie. All you gotta do is click on the link and fill out the form above, or you can message us or even leave a comment below. So thank you yep. as always. Thank you. And if you have a question, please feel free to, to let us know because we love answering your questions. Thank you so much. Of course, it's called Ask an Action Coach. <laughs> ask away. <laughs> we'll see you next time.